Hey, Darren with Wee TJ. Harley's over there working on his 06 Rubicon, and this is Building a Better TJ Part 3. In Episode 2, we worked on prepping that back frame for Rusty's long arm suspension. And in this episode, we're going to be installing some of that back suspension. Well, I figured since there wasn't enough room underneath that TJ for both of us, I figured I might as well jump on this front axle. Alright, so we decided when we ordered those front brakes, uh, Black Magic, and we were talking to Blaine over there. Blaine said, hey, you know, you want um, over the knuckle or under? And we're like, hey, we might as well. Might as well get that track bar raised up there. Well, when you go over the knuckle, you're going to have to do something about that track bar. And there's only a couple solutions out there. We decided to go with TerraFlex. Let me show you what we got here. This is going to be the front bracket that goes on the frame. With that front bracket, if you can imagine the axle being here, frame rails going through here. Uh, this bolts right onto the casting where the original track bar would and you got a couple bolt holes that go through there now we're uh, most likely we're going to weld this as opposed to bolting it but what this does is gives us a couple different mounting locations for our track bar as far as getting the perfect uh, um, line there with our stand. of course here's our track bar and this is the the bracket that's going to have to be changed out here uh, so we're going to have to come in here and remove this section of the um, underneath the spring perch there. I guess that's called a spring perch. Uh, and put this in there. Now this is going to give us three different uh, mounting locations for this track bar. Combined with that, we're going to have a bunch of different adjustability to nail that um, track bar and that steering. Get it lined right up. So, all right. All right, so as Harley slowly tightens these bolts up, um, 03 to 06, I believe that's the cutoff, is going to require, they're going to take metric bolts. Now, Rusty's includes both standard and uh, metric in there. Now, these slotted areas, um, Rusty specifies that you were to mount it in the middle of it. Now, here in just a bit, he just snugged it up just a bit. And what I'm going to do is find a spot in the frame. Uh, hand me my tape measure over there. All right, now that Harley's uh, snugged up those bolts, I'm gonna take a measurement up here, because that way we can transfer that measurement over to the other side. This seems like a good spot to take a measurement. Three, three and a quarter. So let's go over and check out the other side. Okay, so we're over here on the passenger side of the frame. Um, we already threw this uh, frame saddle up. We somewhat centered it in there and hardly snugged it up. All right, let's, let me take my measurement. See how close we are. Wow, we are right on. I can't believe we're that close. All right, we're, we're within probably a 30 second so I think we're good to go what Harley's doing over there is he's just tapping those right there that should be good um, to make sure that these have uh, popped up and that they're not being held down on the frame now on the passenger side of this 06 TJ we have a VIN number right there lucky for us it matches of course it does but just to let you know you have a VIN right there so we left this where it was, made sure where it was, we left the uh, rearmost bolt in to make sure nothing moved, and we took the front two out so we can uh, bolt the belly pan up in place. I would definitely recommend having another person there to help you as far as installing this belly pan. It's, uh, it's heavy and you can definitely injure yourself by doing this alone. So. Go ahead. Rusty's will tell you to tighten these and they'll tell you exactly the foot pounds at this point. I'm going to tell you not to do that. You're going to have this thing off uh, probably possibly one or two times through this process. And um, so I'm not going to lock tight lock these at this point. All right. You see what we're doing here? We're, we're shifting that transmission over about quarter three eighths of an inch. Just yeah, you know that's not going to have to happen on every 
G, but in our situation, it just need bumped over a little bit. We're making sure everything lines up perfectly before we drill them holes. Second thing um, we got going on here is you're, you're not gonna see uh, it, it in the video, but after we pull our frame settles down, I actually measured once again from our penciled holes to those uh, D holes to verify our measurements. Um, third thing I want to bring up is the transfer case. With this being a Rubicon, it's not so much of a concern. We've got a little bit better of a drive shaft setup going on back here. But if you've got a Sahara, um, a Sport, a Wrangler X, you, you are going to have to look into a slope yoke eliminator. And now's the time to be doing that. You know, to, to lessen that degree that that drive shaft is running on. And um, you just anytime you go past, I don't know, maybe two and a half, especially when you get up three inches plus, you're going to have to do something as far as that drive shaft angle. So the next thing to do after we put this belly pan on would be to mark these holes. Front's pretty straightforward. Get yourself a decent pencil or y'all or what have you. The back, we've experienced this with both of our TJs, is you're going to hit one of these slots only on the outside of the frame. Uh, the inside of the frame, you're gonna, it's gonna be fine. So what I'm gonna tell you to do is you're most likely gonna need a carbide bat <laughs> to open this up. I'll go ahead and mark it. Hop over to the other side. You'll see on the other side, it's going to be exactly the same. Okay, so we're over here on the other side of the frame. I'll possibly drill that one in place. This one right here, uh, there's only so much I can do. Um, yeah. We go have this belly pan up here we're, we're sure that everything is going to clear here the transmission is going to drop on drop on there as far as the mount um, we're going to remove it and we're gonna commence to go ahead and get all of our holes marked now you saw me mark the outside ones but the insides are a little bit more difficult uh, we haven't removed our drop front drive shaft he's gonna go ahead and do that and I think we're gonna drop the brackets on the back of the exhaust and try to get it to tip down some to help us for drilling. All right, so right here I'm working on the exhaust hanger bolts and muffler hanger bolts and they're 13 millimeters. I already took the two on the back side of the frame out. These are just above the where the axle goes and I'm doing these two. I already took the bottom one out, I'm working on the top one. Show, show them this one over here. So I'm having to drop the transmission mount because we have one more uh, hanger up here that goes off your transmission mount. It's gonna do the back. And I... Yeah? I have a feeling it'll do the front too. So what we've done is we've taken the hangers off, just relaxed the back of the exhaust just a little bit. That way we can get in there and drill these inside frame rails. Now, the exhaust in my 99 was a little bit different. Um, I don't think we were able to do that. But anyway, so let us get at it. Oh, on this side, the brake lines. You're gonna have to pop them out of the plastic holder, separate them, and uh, to get to this side. All right, so I marked it here with the pencil. I've actually already drilled one of them out back there. So I use an eighth inch drill bit and a step drill. Now this only gets us to a half inch and uh, I'll switch it to another step drill. And I actually have a 9 16 drill bit that I can finish it, but punch it through first with this eighth inch. Which is step drill. Love them step drills. 
This is, I believe, an Irwin. Man, they last. Get a lot of life out of these. Alright, so one thing I wanted to show you was I've already drilled a eighth inch hole through there and I marked it with a pencil. Let me see if it captures it. See if you can see the pencil right there. And so I drilled it through there. Now you're going to need something fairly small. Um, I used an impact. You're not, you're not going to be able to use a full size drill on the inside except for maybe one of the back holes. Uh, now switch to the step drill in here and let me drill that through. Now what I'll do is I'll come with the large bit from the outside to hit both of them. Harley, you want to do it? It's it's in the dwell. So he's going to run it in from the inside and this should center it and he'll knock it out. So go ahead and Drill this through right here. Okay, there you, there you go. Rev it up, push it. Hold on. Get you need to push right on the center of the back. Hold on, slow, slow down. Right there is where you need to be. Perfect. And we got a, a great hole there now. Nine sixteenths. All right, cool. I tell you what, I run uh, Bosch and Harley runs DeWalt in our business, uh, but these Milwaukee M12s, they got a lot of power. And uh, yeah, they work pretty good. So on the, on the passenger front here, this is about the best best way I know to actually drill this one here come in here with a right angle and just drill her through of course it doesn't hold all right Alright, so after you have your pilot hole drilled, since we can't get this uh, um, Christmas tree to fit inside of our chuck, our 90 degree, um, we already have our pilot hole, we're coming through the Christmas tree through this way. Now you, you can see that the tip of it is already sticking through, so if you want to push it through Harley, have at it. You put. I, I don't know. Hand me the drill. It's not a drill. Hand me the drill. <laughs> Come on, the one with the step drill. There you go. I need to know everything. Drill.